Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. This is an update to one of my previous videos. Uh, actually one of my more popular ones. My Estwing Hatchet video. So I mentioned when I did the unboxing, I'll show you a picture here pretty quick. Um, this is what the hatchet looked like originally when I unboxed it. And you can see, well, it's just plain old metal and it's got the undyed, um, some people call it a mask, some people call it the cover, whatever. But the leather was just raw leather. So let's take a peek at that. So you've seen the old hatchet. Here's the new one. We'll get a good look at it here. First off, as you can see with the sheath, or some people call it a mask, I actually did dye the leather and I put a coat of um, protectant on it. It's called satin sheen. You get that from Tandy Leather. So that's actually a nice green color. Green because my pack is olive green and it sits nice on it. Once I build a, you well, some strapping or something for it. The other thing I've done, which is really different, is you'll notice it is no longer chromed. That's because I was actually using it and I found I wore some of the coating off. So I just took several different grades of sandpaper and took the coating off. And this is what it's like now. So you sand it down to bare metal. Several coats. It was, uh, I started with 120 and then worked it up to 180. I think it was 320, 400, and then finally 600. Once the coating was off, you, you buff it down, you take all the scratches out, and 600 is good enough to stop with. If you'd like to, you can do more. You can go 800, 1,000, or even 2,000 grit. You can find those in the um, auto detailing section or auto body section of some of your big stores. But you'll see, like I said, this is now it's pretty dark except for the edge what you do is you actually get some gun bluing and that's where you get the nice dark color so put a coat on I actually had to put several because I put a coat on and find out something I hadn't sanded off and then strip it off and sand it again but you put a coat of this on and it just swabs on and it turns this stuff almost jet black uh, it's made for gun barrels. You can again pick it up at most big box stores with a sportsman section or you know Cabela's sells it. All the big sportsman stores do. So then after that once you leave the bluing on for 30 seconds to a minute or so then you actually rinse it off, you let it dry then you hit it with a coat or two of gun oil and it really really tends to bond with the bluing Matter of fact, the only thing I've seen that's taken this off is I left one on an oil-soaked rag and it took a bit of it off. So I'll probably have another video with another axe I'm working on, which is a really, really old one. We'll go through the steps, but this is now what it looks like. I like the black color. And there's one more improvement I haven't made yet, but I'm about to, and I'll detail that in a moment. Okay, so one of my subscribers is Keto Dad. And he posted a great comment on the original video for the S-Wing hatchet. And he said something about this. See, the handle is leather. It's several strips of leather all bonded together. And he's not a big fan of the urethane or lacquer coating that's on it. And I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan either. So he'd suggest that you strip it off with some paint, or paint thinner, not stripper. Just some mineral spirits will do it. And he'd actually suggested rubbing it with beeswax and hitting it with a heat gun. There is actually another method that is a little better. So you actually take one part beeswax. We're not going to demonstrate this now, but this will be in, in the future because um, it also goes in with my waterproofing video. This is the recipe for making the preservative for tin cloth or oil cloth. It's one part boiled linseed oil, one part beeswax. And you 
heat them up, get them together, and you paint them on. You can vary it a little bit. Half and half is usually good. You can go third and two-third either way, and it's going to be more of a paste or more of a liquid. But generally, half and half works. So what you'd do is you'd strip this off, and then you would you'd hit it with that stuff. It's just the beeswax and linseed oil still gives you a very, very good grip. And just a little tiny bit tacky. Not like straight beeswax, it can get very tacky. Um, it's one of the reasons we don't use beeswax on screws so much in woodworking anymore is they can get sticky and, you know, regular paraffin wax doesn't. That's just a little tip. But anyways, what you do is you rub in a coat and hit it with a heat gun or just a hair dryer works good and then let it dry and do a couple of coats and then you'll actually get a better coating than what's on the handle here. So that's in response to Keto Dad. There's a great, great comment. Um, the reason I say we're going to see that in action later this year is this thing on my head. Actually the uh, canvas hat. Beautiful hat. I love it. But as you can see it's getting a little getting a little crease, getting a little dented and it's been sat on and many other things. It's okay because it's a canvas hat. But it's time to hit this with a coat of waterproofing when it warms up a bit more. So we'll go with that and I'll probably even post another update on this once the handle gets done. But anyways, this is S-Wing Hatchet version 2, which I really like. I think version 3 will get some strapping in here or something for the molly webbing on my pack. It would be nice to just hang this. I have a huge, it's called a Tatanka Last and Cracks pack. And it's, it's an external frame pack. And it's the best one I've ever seen in my life. But it's got all this molly webbing on the outside, and I'd like to actually have this so I could hang this on the outside somehow. That's going to be a challenge. I may have to just make a custom sheath for it. Alright, so that is the updated S-Wing hatchet. There will be more to come. Oh, one last thing as far as the bluing. The reason I like the bluing on here is that after some use, it's going to wear off. And it's so easy to replace, you just dab some more bluing on. Again, you, you can sand it down a bit if you want. You dab some more bluing on and do the same process again. You just re-blue the axe. And it does not take long. I'd say maybe 15 minutes start to finish. And that's, you know, a minute of actual work. And you've got a blued axe again. So... That is, like I said, this is a new improved S-Wing Hatchet version 2. Version 3 coming in later in 2015, I imagine. I want to thank you for watching another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name is Dean. I want to thank you again for watching. Take care and good day.